Hey vlog, what's good? Um, I'm picking up the camera. It is not the start of the week. It is Wednesday, the 27th. Um, so I have some stuff to update you guys on. Um, shall we do it while I'm washing my face? Would that be kind of cute? I actually saw a video like that, Chit Chat Get Ready With Me, but Skin Edition. So let's do that. I feel like that would be more entertaining than me just sitting here and talking to you guys. So I'm about to wash my face and update you guys on what has been going on. I'm going to be using Neutrogena Hydrating Boost, a little bit short. Hydrating Boost Cleansing Gel. I love this stuff. Um, I love Neutrogena. Per. So let's get into what's been going on with me. So first things first, I have a new job. Um, and I'm not talking about nails, girl. I have a new job and I will be babysitting for this family three times a week um, for like six hours a day. So, there's people walking around. I'm just not going to you. Uh, today is Wednesday and I started working yesterday. So, I work Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. So tomorrow's my last day of the week. Um, it's been exhausting. I'm just trying to get used to it, waking up early. And you know, the baby's only six months. So like, you know, constantly entertaining a baby and changing diapers and bottles and stuff. Be a material girl for the summer. Gotta get these coins up, period. So I got two jobs, okay? Good morning y'all so i'm just getting dressed about to leave for babysitting Hold on. i'm watching her right now um while i pick out my clothes i'm just going for something chill today i actually need to wash clothes but um so yeah and then i have a nail client um later today at six so y'all will be seeing that i'm gonna try to record more because like i'll be forgetting but i'm gonna try to record more anyways i'm about to get dressed i'm distracted right now so i will see you guys later hey y'all what's up so i just got finished doing nails of course i will insert insert the clips um your girl was working today okay had a nanny for six hours, come home, eat, go straight back to work and doing nails. That's why I got my But you know, the thing is, I'm trying to get as much money as I can without killing myself because hustle culture is not cute. But I'm trying to be a material girl. I've realized that I'm expensive and I want nice things. So I'm gonna work and give them to myself. So um, to reward myself, you know, since it was my first week of my new job, I'm gonna go shopping, okay? <laughs> um, so yeah, but I'm not gonna go crazy. I'm only gonna, my budget is $60, nothing too crazy. I'm gonna go on Shein, I can buy like 20 different things for $60. Um, so yeah, uh, I'm not really gonna do anything else. And tomorrow I have off, I have no clients, I don't have to work, I'm going to sleep in. Um, I'm gonna work, but like not physically, like I'm gonna like post content and create content for TikTok and my business page, but like as far as like labor, labor, nah. So yeah, I just wanted to check in and I will see you guys tomorrow. Um, and I'll show you guys how I make my content and my TikTok. You just interrupted my TikTok. You wanna say, I mean, what? My vlog. You wanna say hi? You ready to eat? You ready to eat? Yeah. Alright, I'm out of here. Dulce! Hey guys, what's up? Um, I don't even know what to really say. Where is my phone? Um, okay. Oh, there it is. I'm really low energy, like, right now. I'm super tired. 
I'm just, I'm really tired. And the fact that I gotta go to work and do clients starting tomorrow, I'm, I don't know. I'm just, I'm like really tired and exhausted. I'm an introvert. So as you guys saw, I went out for the weekend. And like when I go out, I, I get anxious. So like being anxious and on top of that, like being around people and feeling their energy and then like socializing and talking with people like that is so draining to me like yesterday so I went out Saturday Sunday I didn't wake up till one o'clock in the afternoon and I stayed in the bed the entire day like I still feel really really tired um so I'm not sure what I'm really gonna do I need to finish this painting because that needs to be shipped off Thursday um, and I want to make some TikToks today because I've been slacking and I also need to catch up on content for my business page. Like I've just been slacking in those departments because with my new job, it's just been a lot and it's been kind of exhausting. Like I just need to get used to it. So anyway, that's what I'm about to do. So I'll probably show you guys how I record, how I'm going to record two of these TikToks that I'm going to make today. And yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna show y'all the entire process and for real, for real this time. Like, I'm gonna actually show y'all. So, anyway, today I'm going to be doing an entrepreneur YouTubers thing, kind of like the soft life YouTubers I did, but entrepreneur style. I have not seen anybody um, do this one. So, if you see anybody on TikTok do it after me, you know they copy me. Anyways. So here's the list of people that I have. Of course, I'm going to put me in there, you know, slick a little bit of promo. But um, yeah, I'm about to record some clips um, and put it together. I also wanted to talk about this real quick. So you know how I did the soft life YouTubers? First of all, I'm not the one that invented the, you know, showing clips of your favorite YouTuber and stuff. I didn't invent that. But honestly, I'm the only person that I saw that did the soft life youtuber ones um and they're like a whole bunch of people didn't even know what soft life meant so then after i did mine on my timeline a week later i saw a whole bunch of videos that look exactly like mine there was this girl that did the video the soft life youtuber video and she copied my whole entire video bar for bar I'm talking the caption that I put in the video, like soft like that. I even made a typo in it and she made the same exact typo. She used the same audio and she used the same hashtags. And I've seen multiple people do this, like step by step, like the same exact thing that I did, like audio. Like there was this one girl, she tagged me and credited me, but she copied the whole entire video, like bar for bar all the same influencers and stuff and i'm like okay so y'all are trying to do this because you saw my video pop off and you're like okay if i copy everything she does my video is gonna pop off too like that is so lame to me but anyways that's what happens on tiktok everybody copies each other but one thing about me i'm gonna give credit i don't know the girl that started i swear i follow her but i don't remember her username but like other things that people thought I started, I was like, no, it wasn't me. It was so-and-so, and I'll tag the person. But I just feel like that's whack. And you could tell that they were doing it just to go viral because when I went on their page, like, their page didn't even reflect the video. Like, how are you doing soft life aesthetic, but that's not even your own aesthetic? Like, your aesthetic is something completely different. Like, it doesn't even go with your page. Anyways, that's besides the point. Okay, so the first YouTuber I'm going to do is me. Oh. No. Hold on. Oops. Clips from this video. So, here are some of... Oh. Hold on, let me turn this down. Here are some of the clips that I got. I just got clips of me packaging um, orders and then of me doing um, where is this focusing? and me painting the nails. 
Um, I'm not sure if I want to add more. But yeah, that's what I got. So now I'm going to go do the other YouTubers. Okay, so I got all my clips. So I'm about to put them together. I use the app InShot. I love this app. It's super duper easy. I um record my YouTube. I mean, do my YouTube videos through here too. But anyway, so I'm going to put me first because duh. Um... I like to do more popular YouTubers first because that's what grabs people's attention. Okay, so now that I got all my clips, I gotta find my audio first. So let me go figure out what audio I want to do. Okay, I found the audio that I want to use. So I go into music and I press extract from video um where where is it oh. and then damn it i don't know how i'm gonna but anyway i sync the audio to the clips like i may cut them like split them and stuff like that but anyways there's not much else to show so that i'll show you guys what it looks like when i'm finished excuse me Okay, y'all, so I finished the video. I actually didn't end up <laughs> doing the video that I was going to. I don't know. I just wasn't feeling the clips, and I just I just wasn't feeling it. So I decided to do a video just to promote my YouTube channel. So here is, oops, here's how it turned out. Cute, cute. I thought that would be nice to advertise my channel and, you know, show different sides of me and stuff like that. But, um, yeah, that's what I just did. Oh, and here is my April dump. I just love this video. inspired by I did the same color you can't really see it but I did the same color um, the accent sparkly nails and then the um, heart heart charm not the this one the heart charm and then I did the gummy bear so I wish I did them longer though but I know I can't work with long nails so I had to do what I had to do I'm pissed off so I'm gonna rant um, I tried to do it on my camera, but my camera didn't have enough battery. Maybe that's the universe telling me to shut up, but I'm not going to. And maybe some people can relate to this. My hair looks crazy. Like, I look crazy. I don't care. Anyways, people are such haters. And I like to keep my mouth closed about this type of thing. And, like, just, you know, just move on and be mature about it and stuff. But I'm so, 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 so sick of it. It's just like I'm pissed right now like and when I tell you guys what's going on it's probably not gonna seem like a big deal to you but if you know what it feels like for people to like just not be happy for you a lot of times like you're gonna understand how I feel so I hit 2k on TikTok which is a really big deal because last month I think like two weeks ago I was at 600 followers 
and I just hit 2000. So I'm really excited about that. So I make a post, you know, thanking my followers and being excited about hitting 2000 followers. And I post it on TikTok stories, right? Before I even get into that, I used to do that with my Instagram, right? When I would hit a certain amount of subscribers, I would post, oh my gosh, I hit 70 subscribers today. And guess what would happen a few minutes after I would post me being excited about hitting 70 subscribers? I would lose about five subscribers and go all the way down to 60 nothing. So I'm like, so I don't even really post my achievements on Instagram anymore until it's like a month after. So if I hit 200, you're going to hear about it way later. But most of the time, I don't even post it anymore because my Instagram followers are fake. Not all of them, but a lot of them are. People like to watch me. People like to copy me and I see that shit. But whatever. Anyway, so I'm like, I can post this on TikTok because TikTok is extremely supportive. Like the energy over there for the most part is like really, really good. And people are so happy for me. Even people that don't know me, I don't get that on any, well, I get that on YouTube too, but I don't get that on Instagram. So it was like different. Oh shoot. I can post this on TikTok. Tell me why I posted about me hitting 2K um, followers on TikTok. Not even five minutes later, four people unfollow me. And this is crazy because I have not been having any unfollows at all. I've just been gaining, gaining, gaining. Nobody's been unfollowing me. All of a sudden, I post that and everybody wants to unfollow. So I'm like, okay, cool. So I'm petty and I told somebody that I know, I'm like, follow me on TikTok so I can get back to 2K. So I'm like, okay, cool. Then I go back and somebody unfollows me again. So I'm back down to 190 something. Are y'all serious? Well, not y'all, not my subscribers. But like, this is crazy to me. Like my phone storage had went out. I don't know I seem like really sensitive right now. Like I'm just having a, a crybaby moment, but I don't know. I just feel like until you constantly have people hate it and I'm not trying to sound like annoying, but this shit is true. If I told you guys all the stories I've had of strangers talking crap about me and me finding out my friends, like y'all would understand why this like bothers me so much. Like, although I have people that are supportive, it's just like, I guess I gotta get used to this because the bigger you get, the more haters you get. But I don't know. I'm probably like making this a big deal. I'm just really, I'm gonna admit it. I'm in my feelings right now. I'm in my feelings. I'm being a little vulnerable right now. But yeah, that just really hurt my feelings. Not hurt my feelings, but I'm just tired of it. I guess I, I will say like, why can't I just celebrate my accomplishments and people celebrate with me? Like, why does it always have to be some other shit, you know? And I was really excited. I was going to buy myself something new today. I feel like Shein or something to celebrate. I was going to make another celebratory TikTok. If you follow me on TikTok, then you would have seen me celebrating 300 subscribers. Shit is nuts. But it's cool because I'm going to gain it back tenfold. Maybe this is just a test for me. <sighs> and my nails just got messed up. Like, what is going on? Stop playing with me. That's all I gotta say. <sighs>
after spending the weekend in Buffalo for my brother's graduation. And I just wanted to record this. Oh, shoot. This place is really pretty. I need to go use the bathroom first, but look at that. So nice. It's cute. This is probably the best rest stop we've been to, huh? Yeah. 